You know, over something someone has that you don't have access on. And I'm pretty sure that this thing is taking place in ask. You don't have that particular thing that your brother has because you have failed to ask. Who to ask? Maybe from wrong person. But he's telling unto us, you had that promotion, you want that promotion, but you have failed to have it because you have really not asked. As we continue, listen. He asked and received not because he has a miss. You are asking God for... God always concerned about the... On the motive behind your asking. I'm pretty sure if God give one... Yes, I have heard your prayer. Ready to give you. But the motive behind your prayer is not good. Some of you I know, when the promotion comes, you delete old friend and you want to apply the new friends. I hope you will not delete me. Praise God. Listen what he saved us for. He adulterers. us. It is that we have announced an enmity between us and our God. The Lord made me to understand. He's not moved by our tears. You know, some, some of us, we are very good. When you are praying, you cry. That one cannot change. He's more concerned the state of our heart while we are doing that. Deny from crying because God is because we want to go with the multitude. If I do this, what my family will say? What will my father say? What will my friend say? What will be my husband say? But I hear this, Jesus is saying to us, if you have chosen to be the friend of, so, of the world, you have already announced to yourself an enemy to God. He said, Five, do you think that the scripture say in vain? You don't need your sacrifice. God need your heart. About it. He said, I wish this my son, this my daughter could understand. But we expect him to flee. I think we get it right, wrong. I have come to realize The best way to resist Satan is when you submit to God's will. To let God take control. I have never taken alcohol, but I, I see people when they are drunk. Where to go, what to do and what not to do. What to eat and what not to eat. What to dress and what not to dress. If we mostly first focus in submission, I do believe, I will take it to Matthew 5, 6. Where we focus on doing what God requires us. Yes, I know we are not under the law. But I have come to realize, I really believe Jesus, the commandment. So you use your name there. If you say you love Jesus, we have to keep his commandment. What does that mean? If you have been stealing, for Christ's sake, you stop stealing. If you have said in your heart, I will never forgive this man, for Christ's sake, you forgive him. If you have been plotting, if I will love everyone, despite of the, their background, or anything I expect from them. If really I love Jesus, I will spend time and read my Bible. I will spend time and pray. I will try to do my best to see that I improve 
Why I say this? It is very terrible thing as a Christian. The same things that you did last year. Okay, let's say, last year you were a liar. And now instead of stopping lying, now you, 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 you have increased in lying. A Christian. And even you are not ashamed, you are saying. That all eyes you expect, you will not see him. You will see him, but you will not go with him. Meaning, Jesus is speaking to us individually. As Ibrahim is speaking, we should check ourselves. We should be honest to ourselves. Since you and I, we don't know the time and the hour, we have to number our days to be conscious. For we don't know what will befall us tomorrow. But the question is, you and I, are we ready for his coming? As I continue with you, I say this. I pray that from now, let us submit ourselves to God. Then, the second part is resist the devil. Many a times, we easily resist the devil in our prayers. But in our everyday life, we do not resist him. We promote his his presence in our life. What does that mean? You as an individual take a step and say, you know what, me and devil, we are no longer friends. For we know Satan from the beginning is the father of lies. There is nothing good about him. No matter how he present himself to be light, there is no light in him. Trouble. Is the father of of every lies, Satan is our common enemy. But the problem is most especially, most of the time, we have entertained him. But in prayer, we, we rebuke him. You know, even at times he laughs, he say, look at this one. After just we have been having party together, now you are rebuking me. He laughs. This means Jesus is saying to us, we should take a step of standing and say, today me and Satan, we have nothing in common. Planning evil against others, your lifestyle. I tell you, if that is your lifestyle, even if you pray and you cast a demon, they know God, they laugh and say, look at this one. When you are the member, I remember last week when the Lord said to me, you know, you pray and things don't happen. You have to have a, a full determined heart not to entangle yourself with the things of the world. And he repeat it again. What does that mean to us? As a Christian, when you have time, you read Ephesians 6 from verse 11 to down one. Why I say this? We Christians, we are the very people who make people don't come to churches. Because of our way of lifestyle. The way we do things. We are the very reason. We are very good in judging. Judging is our sign. But Jesus didn't anyone. Yet if he was to judge, his judgment was right. But he did not judge anyone. So I don't know this judging thing where we get it from. You find yourself, you are the one who knows, the one who dress well, you know who talk well, you know who preach well, who teach well, you know them well. I tell you, Jesus did not judge anyone. So I don't know where from. I understand after forum, you steal somebody's property. It doesn't make sense. What a waste. So, I said.
said the best way to resist this our common enemy it is by our daily life i came to understand also if just you sit here like this and you have negative thought over somebody it's also a problem it opens door for self-care. we make a decision to live according in the light of god's word one of the reasons you hear me praise god So, what does that mean? If, for Jesus have made it clear, if you look at Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Jesus said to us, if you and I, we have decided to follow him, then, what do we have to do? Because if we believe Christ, we'll try as we can to live as he lived. To follow what his footsteps. Aya, as, as I bring to conclusion, there is something I want you to see. Hear what Jesus said. Verse 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn, weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy to heaviness. Then he say, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord as you are all in the forum. It is my prayer that you maintain this holiness in your daily life. What a, bl what a blessing will it be. Praise God. Here we should draw near to him. Not only in our words, but in our daily lifestyle. I pray that let Bible be our standard. Bible be. If you are in a particular area, you see a particular person, God is using him in a particular area. What you cannot do, appreciate God. We stop to compare ourselves to others. I thank God. I never compare myself to, my, to anyone. You know why? God made understand that everyone is a masterpiece. That's why you, I cannot say I want to be like so and so. No. If you, that is a wrong prayer. You pray, you pray God to make you what he wants you to be. You have something in your eye. If you tell the person, the very person will tell, I also see something in your eye. Which means, it's, it's a message. Before you say so and so talk bad, it means also you have a problem. So I say to us, beloved, as I bring to conclusion, Jesus said to us, we should draw closer to him. You know very well, to come closer to Jesus is when you and I, we love to say this, tomorrow I will come. No. We are boosting. We are supposed to say, if God wills. So, I will say this as to us, beloved. Jesus loves you and I so much. That's why I have sent me to say this to us. We should check ourselves individually. If you are a preacher or a teacher in any, any area, remember that when you teach, you are teaching yourself. So, it's not good. You are praying God to give you this particular thing so that you can spend it in your own blessing. So, I'm here to say to us, Jesus loves you and I. He wants us all to be in heaven. He wants us to walk the way he walked don't feel discouraged. He's ready to help you and I to overcome our daily weaknesses, to become better. But we have to be genuine or willing to live our lifestyle. If you admit you are wrong or if you recognize your mistake, it is easy to be helped. But if you know 
you are mistake and you don't want you ignore it it's very